Don't go by the book. Think like a pirate. We have just lost cabin pressure. December 30th on the new sailboat. I'm going to try this to keep the good wood on the left and bring in a new piece and secure it from the back. As you can see, there's plumbing, so that's fine. There's going to be an upward pull on the chain plates. So given the fact that that will be epoxied in and heavy, that will allow a good solid bite. But as you also notice, a good wide part underneath the actual deck. So between those two things, that will secure the chain plate. And the wood underneath, I can get a good arc. Water, water everywhere. Look what you can rot. But also what I can replace. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle can't be good. That's why we have water. As you can see, this is the back side of the template. Notice the lines. And that part is pretty true at this point. So, I will trim out along those lines and take a second fit. Okay, this is a third cut just on the construction paper. Put it back in, try to get about a quarter inch over so that I can sand it down and get a tighter fit. Now, on the other side, making notations. where to fine tune. Doesn't look like five feet and two inches, does it? Or five, five feet by two feet? Well, I was almost right. Somewhere in the mix, I forgot the top piece, which I made it one piece. Now, if you notice, not a bad fit. I wanted a little bit over. So what I'm gonna do Is just add a third piece here, tape it in section, and then cut the complete set, which will cover up those holes. Magic. Magic. Hey, that's why they say measure twice, cut once, huh? All right. I've now cleaned up the template, just cutting around the edges. plywood time, final measurements are made. At this point, we have the final templates ready. This obviously was a two-piece and couldn't get in because of the cabinets. This one, luckily I could because it stops right at the bench there. So now we can cut the final one. She's looking better. The 15th of January, 2014. I have the two bulkheads pieced together pretty good. Yes, they're two pieces, but composite bonding 
and some new varnish they'll be looking good so I'm very happy it's about two maybe three weeks work here on the 17th of January we're starting the glassing in of the hole now not looking very pretty right now but this is all for structure so that rigging can hold tight I'm going to basically glass over the whole bulkhead and paint it. There's no sense in trying to get the wood grain out when everything's so different. So after about three or sheets or so of uh, three layers of, plot, of uh, huh, fiberglass cloth, we'll smooth that out to one solid piece and obviously a lot of fairing it'll smooth out. So we're gonna let this sit for a week and see how it does. February 8, 2014, at the new bulkhead in, getting ready to prime on that side. This is what happens when you don't take care of your boat. What is wrong with people? Look at that rod. Plus, look at that rod. Yeah, you want to eat off that, huh? People, take care of your boats. Okay, today, to get ready for this kind of bulkhead, which I'm going to use for the trim, this amazing thing from Cellrite called Strim. Let me tell you, this is the greatest stuff because you can just lay it over here, as you're going to see in a minute here, cut it out, draw your lines, get it done, and it really works good. So, to hide all this stuff, because unfortunately, there's no way I was going to rip all this out just to get a clean bulkhead in. Could have you sell those. <laughs> now, I did originally the cardboard like that, but this folds much nicer, forms much nicer. Probably didn't have the fan blowing. As you can see, pretty good fit. allows you to get up in the tiny little crevices and we'll trim for later. So we're going to trim a little bit more on this, but as you can see, the easiest way to cut the bulkhead. If I'd have known this earlier, holy cow, would that have been a lot easier. Okay, so now, as you see, I have the bulkhead laid out on <coughs> the new mahogany veneer. So this part's easy. As you notice, I went from scrim down to template, cut. This is the first. I probably shouldn't have stained these because there's always going to be some match, but you have to go in with something that's actually as thick as what you're going in. If you remember, I couldn't take out the whole bulkhead. Some was good, some was solid. So what I did, I filled in the inside, got that solid, but it's not pretty. So hence the veneer. Not bad, about $32 for a four by eight sheet. So now this is the sixth revision of the bulkheads. So I made some revisions, mainly in the chain plate, but also as I noted, I don't want the color this light. So, This material is very good to work with, it's very light, but again, whatever material that you're eventually going to use as the bulkhead or the bulkhead cover, you must cut the template with that. So now, what I have is the template, 
the math and the magic is getting this right because it's at a slight angle. So I'm going to cut that. Now another important thing to pay attention to is the grain of the wood. If you can see here, the grain goes down. Uh, I found out, or in this case it will go up, but I found out that it looks very odd when one bulkhead grain goes this way and one other head the grain goes that way. So always pay attention to your grain. So now I do, I just go over the lines, make sure I can see it from my jigsaw, and trust me, an eighth of an inch matters. Try to be as solid as possible. This is geometry, rise over run. A little bit this way, if you cut down too much here adjusting, it pushes this end up. So you have to be template after template, there's really no way to get around it. The scrim just helped, but always be careful on this side. So now we have it. I'll cut this out and we'll start restaining. Again, our only point is to where this is. Because in the overall bulkhead, Seeing Casa de Kell's workshop here is where is it going to be? Ooh, sorry. All right. Later. Go on, sailors, have fun. Did anybody here pass me a beer? And I'm going to keep playing this music that you hear. And if you know the song, come and sing along with me. Walking with the beach to my left, seat to my right. And I'm going to get faded at the tiki bar tonight. Then I'm going to roll one up like my name is Bob. Yeah, I'm going to party like I'm a Jamaican. If you really want to know where you can find me, I'll be unwind. Track of your timing, grab a drink beside me. Down in the islands, down in the islands. Well, that's all, folks. Hey,